Just stop it. <laughs> Why, did your wife put you under surveillance this time? Listen, tell me how difficult it will be to substitute placebo into a package of birth control pills. I'd need the brand. Uh, actually, it would be best to have a package of the exact pills, but Mr. Spalding, this is crossing a line. The, I don't... the child will be mine. I will not be interfering with anyone's... Except the woman involved? The woman involved is my wife. Still? Miss Parker... I don't have to explain myself to you. Are you going to accept this assignment or not? I'll need that fresh package of pills. Good. I'll have it for you tonight. Then I'll get right on it. I was looking all over for you. Have you been out on the patio the whole time? I needed a brisk walk. Um, fighting with my sister has that effect on me. Oh, that's really good, Dad. Why don't you see if you can catch pneumonia? Maybe have another heart attack. You know, Philip, you're sounding like a little old lady. I hope that gorgeous thing you had last night doesn't hear you uh, talk. You know, that way. I did. Uh, uh, never mind. Um, but although, just for the record, just so you know, Noelle, her name, is on her way back home, and I will probably not be seeing her again. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I will say that I'm glad to see that you're getting out more often. Yeah, great. Okay, can we get back to what I walked in on this morning? Did Alexandra really know that we had gone to see India? I knew she would find out. Well, how did she find out? Do we have a leak? Because if we do, that's something we're going to have to plug before you make a move for the company. Well, I will find out very soon because she's meeting with Edmund this morning. Uh, okay, and? He's on my payroll. He's what? Well, I needed a little insurance to keep tabs on my sister. <laughs> That's good. That's good. So, so let me make sure I understand this. Now, these, these days, we're trusting Edmund Winslow. No, we're not trusting him. We're buying him. Besides, he's uniquely qualified. Oh, that's good. You, <laughs> you think Edmund is going to seduce Alexandra? Is that what you're thinking? Philip, don't kid yourself. My sister is a very lonely woman. And Edmund is ex-royalty. He's charming. Oh, He's a right, near right. criminal. Good. Well, tell me, tell me, what, what, what gems has Edmund produced for you thus far? Well, he's working on it. Uh, yeah, I'm sure he's working on it. Uh, I think I'll cast around for some other sources just to be on the safe side. Dig around, but be discreet. Always am. Because I think Edmund is going to get us the information that we've been looking for. What are we talking about? Why Alexandra is truly here. I don't believe for one minute she came back to straighten out our family. Now, I think she has another agenda. Hi. Hi. Uh, did, did you come in here? Uh, not recently. Why? I, I guess I'm supposed to decide the dinner menu tonight. It's Alexandra's idea of an olive branch. Oh. Okay, that's good. <laughs> don't need a food taster anymore. No. Is that The Great Gatsby? Huh? You're reading that? Yeah. Uh, usually read it once a year. I missed last year. Are you catching up? Uh, no. Lizzie is doing a paper on her novelist father and his favorite novel. Wait, are you? His favorite novel. Wait, are you wrote a novel? Yeah. About a million years ago. Another life ago. And. Looking at this, boy, really makes me think it's a good thing I'm a businessman. Oh, no, I, I'd like to read it. Your novel. You do better with this. <laughs> Let's see. Sure. Oh, it's highlighted. 
highlighted, no less. It's my high school copy. What? They were careless people, Tom and Daisy. They smashed up things and creatures and then retreated back into their money or their, or their vast, vast carelessness. carelessness. Or whatever it was that kept them together. And let other people clean, clean up their mess. mess that they had made. Pretty good, huh? A good reminder. That's why I read it once a year. It's good to clean up your own mess. Yeah. Our wedding day. 